mic fell down. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So if you guys are anything like me, I think it's safe to say we're all craving a little bit of adventure. With everything going on in the world right now, I just, I kind of wanted to offer a little bit of an escape for you and for me. And I guess my way of doing that is playing dress up. Last week, I think it was, I'm not completely sure time is not real anymore. <laughs> I made a video on TikTok, which I am the equivalent of 67 years old on that app, but I had been seeing this trend going around where it was kind of a choose your own character video game thing. I've said this before a few times, but I think for me when it comes to making an outfit, I tend to do best when I have either a theme, a direct picture to copy, or a character in mind. So I decided to do my own little take on this with one of my favorite aesthetics, which is kind of an explorer, an adventurer vibe. You know, they say dress for the job you'd like. So I feel like Wayne, excellent, excellent. For the TikTok, I did a little bit of Pinterest research, which is not the most valid form of research, but I saved a bunch of pictures of vintage photos of explorers and adventurers. I ended up devising five different sort of classes of an adventurer character, of which you will see. But for this video, I decided I wanted to sort of expand on that because I had so much fun with it and you guys seemed to really like it. So I came up with five more characters. I'm going to break it down and show you step by step how I came up with the inspiration to the outfit and the different pieces that I used and what characters they're loosely based on. Because for most of this, I did base them off of specific characters, but also kind of the archetypes of adventurers and explorers that you see in movies, games, and TV shows. So without further ado, here are 10 of the adventurers that you can choose from. First up is the pilot. Quite obviously this one is very much based on vintage aviatrixes and Amelia Earhart. For the pilot I started off with some trousers, keeping in mind all of the inspo photos that I had used. I added a white top and a leather jacket to really sell the look. Also a little aviator themed pin doesn't hurt either. And then to cinch in the waist a bit I added a belt. responsible enough to remember 10 different list items, apparently. Next up is The Gunslinger, which not so subtly is based on Rick O'Connell, but you know, and also other adventurer stereotypes, not limited to Brendan Fraser. The Gunslinger is relatively simple, but these vintage jodhpurs really give it the historic look. Most of the explorer photos that I came across included a pair of these bad boys. I added a white top and then a handy dandy gun holster. Not super practical in terms of accessories, but you could easily switch this out with some suspenders. Next up is The Professor, which again, not so subtly based on a mummy character, which is Evelyn O'Connell, but I threw in a blazer, so it's different. For The Professor, using Evie as a guide, as I always do, I started off with a long skirt, added a white top, again, a 1940s blazer, a black necktie, and you're ready to drop some knowledge on your crew. Next up 
next is the desert comber. So for this one, I wanted to go desert look. And so I used linen and more natural fibers because those are better in the hot weather. I kind of devised my own little sun hat shade mechanism out of fabric that I had lying around. So it's not the most accurate, but um, I think it gives off the vibe just fine. The desert comber starts with a very swooshy linen skirt, <clears throat> a white top, cream vest, and a similar colored blazer, keeping it all nice and light colored to deflect that sunlight, topped with a hat and the scarf for added sunshade. So last up in that original group of characters is the artist. You guys called me out on this one saying that she probably wouldn't make it very far because she's barefoot, but maybe her skills don't lie in combat and maybe her skills lie in picking up items with her toes like a monkey. You never know when that's gonna come in handy is all I'm saying. The artist is another really easy one and is loosely based on Jane from Tarzan. Swooshy skirt, and this Edwardian corset cover, which I don't normally wear for preservation's sake, but for YouTube content, yes siree. And topped it off with a hat. Forager. When I think of groups of explorers and kind of the roles that everyone has, I think foraging and studying plants is an important job. Again, strengths don't lie in combat unless, you know, poison. <laughs> the forager is probably the most simple outfit of all of them. This linen dress and a gigantic sun hat. Next up is kind of another archetype classic of an adventurer, and that is the treasure hunter. This may or may not be very much based on Nathan Drake, um, because I may or may not be spending all of my time playing Uncharted 4. Now luckily I forced Nick to dress up as Nathan Drake a few years ago for Halloween, so I used this weathered shirt as a base. I added my skirt made of tablecloth, topped it off with an Indiana-esque hat, and some suspenders. Which in total ended up making me kind of look like a hipster barista <laughs> milady. Next up, you knew I couldn't do a video about adventures and explorers without paying homage to my girl Lara Croft. So the next character on the list is the Raider, which I wanted to give off that early 2000s Angelina Jolie in a vintage way vibe. Trying to follow loosely Lara's vibe, I went with these military trousers, then this black vest to substitute for her tank top, and then of course a leather jacket that is NYX and far too big for me, a Jedi belt for some reason, and these Lara glasses. Now 
Next up, again, I couldn't do an adventure video without a nod to my little thatch because I feel like this channel has become just uh, how many different ways can you make a Milo Thatch inspired outfit, but it's fine. The linguist, again, very much based on Milo Thatch, starts with a skirt, then that same vest from before, but unbuttoned to show the inner layer, and then this greenish jacket to top it all off. And last but not least, expanding the fantasy world boundary is the Middle Earther because I just love dressing up like a hobbit, so. The Middle Earther starts with some trousers rolled up below the knee, a blouse with ample sleeves, very important, a vest, yes hello did you forget which channel you're on, topping it off with a cloak and the fellowship pin, and an insatiable hunger that can only be quenched by second breakfast. That is it. I've been having a lot of fun lately shopping my own closet, trying to make different outfits with different moods and different themes. Felt like this video was the perfect opportunity for that. Like I said in the way beginning of this video, we do have a sponsor for today's video and that is Squarespace. So for a while now I've been wanting to make my own website because I haven't had one in a really long time but I was pretty intimidated with the idea of making mine because when I made my first website back in college I needed Nick's help with a lot of it because he's kind of the tech guy. <laughs> So I wanted to try my luck on Squarespace and it was so freaking easy. I came to the decision that I wanted it to work as sort of an online portfolio, mainly focusing on my content creation and my costume creation so that I could eventually use this website to maybe send to events, conventions, nonprofit organizations, because eventually I do want to do character visits because I think that would really, really be fun. Story time with Belle, some hospital visits as Wonder Woman, etc. I wanted just a collective website to be able to send to those people instead of just linking them to my YouTube or Instagram. So when you're first starting off, they have a ton of really convenient layouts that you can choose from. And then they kind of just walk you through the steps, which is super helpful for a grandma like me. The template I chose made it super easy to set up a portfolio gallery. Basically, you just kind of upload the photos you want and it makes it look pretty for you. And a tool I actually found myself using a ton was the built-in image editor. Also, I found it cool that you could at any time check what it was gonna look like on mobile, since I feel like these days that's mostly what people are gonna be looking at. So that is Squarespace. Very easy, very user-friendly. If I can do it, you can do it way easier than back in my emo days when I was trying to learn coding for my profile. You know what I'm talking about. So make sure you go check out Squarespace for all your website needs and you can start your free trial. And then once you're ready to publish your website, you can head to my link that I will have in the description and you can save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video and I hope that you guys had fun watching. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, I had to go really far for that one. Why is there always something in my eyeball? Always. Get help. And I've sent this... <laughs>
is fine. Everything's fine. Smells like ass. Kitty, stop eating my plants. Get. Yeah, you. Dang it. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Nail it. But yeah, thank you so much. I need a, why do I keep doing this? Hmm. <sighs>